Hi everyone, this is Karen from Now R and Beyond. So I'm back with another simple nail art tutorial, but this time I'm using nail art decals. Just to show you how quick and easy it is, I decided to use my peacock decals to feather things up. And this is a design I came up with. These are the materials I use, but use whatever you have. Make it your own creation. Breathe light from OPI, but you can use any shimmery clear color. A glittery green striper brush. Don't ask me where the label went, but this is from Wet n Wild, it's Caribbean Frost. I will be using the yellow rhinestones for this design. And these are the feather peacocks decals that I got on eBay. And of course I had to have my wax pencil. This is a really good tool when you're putting on any rhinestones. Don't forget your base coat, let's get started. I'm using the ring and the thumb for my decals. I'm cutting out three decals, two for my thumb, one for my ring finger, while my polish is still drying. Don't forget, you don't wanna smudge your polish with your decals. Once I know my polish is completely dry, I place my decals in a cup of water. I'm using a pair of tweezers to take them out. They are very delicate, so be gentle with them. Have you ever used a fake tattoo? If you have, that's how easy it is. But I'm demonstrating how fast and easy it is to remove your decal. Quick tip. If you're having a hard time removing it, place it back into the water for a couple of seconds and then try again. I'm using my finger to gently press out the water from the decal. If it's too wet, gently use a tissue to pick up the excess water. Don't worry, it won't fall off. When placing your decals, be careful because once it wrinkles up, you won't be able to fix it. Finally, the fun part begins. I wanted to give this nail design some pizzazz, so I added some shiny green glitter. I didn't want to cover the entire nail completely with glitter, so I decided to do random stripes. I'm using my favorite top coat to seal in my design. And while my top coat is still wet, I decided to add some yellow rhinestone, just enough to bling out the look. I placed the three rhinestones on all my polished green fingers. So we're finally done and I'm placing my top coat on all my fingers. Don't forget to let it dry so you won't smudge anything. You don't have to be an amazing artist to be able to create amazing art. Follow me at Facebook and Instagram. If you enjoyed my video, please like and subscribe. And for full details and quick tips of where I got the best deals on my nail decals, don't forget to stop by nailartandbeyond.com.